Hey Bales, my name is Simon, welcome to another game maker tutorial. In this tutorial I will talk a little about sprite funds and how to use them and ways you can use these uh, and why they can be uh, very great to use. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about what I will do today. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been able to do a lot lately, um, I'm quite, quite busy, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video and if you do, please uh, remember to like or dislike it, uh, whatever it is. How you feel about the video, and also if you want to uh, be the first one to know when new videos come out, you can always subscribe to the channel, of course. But um, to start off, uh, to, when we create these global funds, and unless you want to use them only like once and stuff like that, or uh, I recommend using uh, uh, using global variables and initiate them uh, in the start of the game. So in this case, I use my test rooms creation code where I create these uh, variables. Uh, I'll do two things in this tutorial. I'll do uh, standard, how to create a font and what you can do with that. And also uh, a short, not too in-depth uh, telling of how to make uh, a inventory based on uh, sprite fonts. So um, let's just start with the reg uh, regular one. When you create a font, you uh, use uh, a sprite, which I have up here, and uh, then you use this font at sprite or font at sprite extended. And uh, the reason I'm using extended is you have a little more power here. Uh, if you use just the normal font at sprite, you simply uh, do not decide which letters is which images. You need to use the standard default uh, setup and that's fine. Um, it's not a problem at all. But uh, you also do not uh, get to tell if you want to have every font fill up the same space or just the space it fills uh, actually, and also how much uh, space you need want between each character. So if we just use the fun at sprite, you can see we have some other settings we can use instead. But I will use this uh, extended because it makes more sense in what we're trying to do here. So we have a sprite. In this case, we have all these ugly letters. Um, we have all from A to Z, both the uh, uppercase and lowercase. And then we have some other things down here. We have comma, uh, uh, dots, uh, exclamation points, question marks. And then we have some keys down here and come back to these in a moment. But um, what this will do is create a font resource um, where it uses these images instead of um, another font you can use. And this is great because then you can create like more detailed custom fonts, uh, more fitting for your game and stuff like that. But it's also cool because as you can see here, I put in a lot of extra uh, signs here uh, or, or, or what's called um, letters and, uh, and yeah, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, I put them in and uh, this will, you can see them up here, it's these I talk about. And what's cool about that uh, is when we set this one to true, that means that our string uh, or letters will only be as wide as the letter is uh, sprite-wise, so it will not feel, uh, fill this whole area just whatever size the letter is, uh, meaning that uh, it will only fill this whole area if your actual drawing, your, your, your drawn sprite fills that lot. So when we then have, uh, we can set what signs we need to use here, we can uh, set like this uh, bigger than sign and this, I don't know what it's called, and this smaller than sign and then the asterisk. Uh, I have set these to be uh, drawn as keys in this sprite. You'll see down here the arrow keys, and uh, I have un I think it's underscore. I have set to space and then plus to the plus key, and then the last one here is space. And you can see here I just simply draw a line. Uh, that's just to tell that this is how wide the space will be. Um, the spaces will be when using this font. Um, it will not draw this actual line, it will simply just use the width. 
so that's pretty easy if you do not add one yourself a space yourself it will simply fill your however wide you have set the sprite to be anyway but as you can see i have these keys i can use as letters in my text so when we start up our example here you will see that we have them mixed with the text which means you can have uh, tell about controls um, as you normally would uh, and you, as you often see in games uh, so you can see you press left arrow key to move left, right arrow key to move right, uh, up arrow key to jump and down arrow key to crouch. We do not really have a character here so it doesn't work. Uh, press space to open inventory and press plus to add a random item. We'll come back to that in a moment with the inventory stuff. Uh, that part actually works. And of course you can color this, uh, you can change color of the text and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to be able to color it without problems, make it white. Uh, because then it will be purely that color you choose uh, but you can also like just draw the sprite in the color you want to use it in and then you can make drawn pictures because if you make for example a blue xbox x button here uh, because you want to use that then it will also be merged to other colors when you colorize the text and that can be quite ugly sometimes so uh, that's two modes you can sort of do stuff in um, but yeah, next part is inventory, and uh, it's not very in depth what I've done here. But here I have made an inventory, and if you press plus, you will get random items. And because it is text, you can make it go to a specific length, you can make it line down. So it's pretty much just a list, uh, except you can decide. Or you can easily draw it like this because you simply draw text and then it will draw the font and uh, Yeah, I've used the same font at sprite extended uh, I've simply just used one to nine right now You can of course you could of course have items of many types because you have a lot of different letters stuff uh, Then I set this to false so every uh, one of them is the 32 by 32 and I have set a separation of zero meaning that it will They will go neck to neck and you can see here you have our font and we simply just have a image in every image slot here um, nine images for one to nine and then um, in my text object here if we go to the draw event you'll see up here it draws the instruction text and that's simply using draw text extended to uh, make sure that everything wraps uh, nicely uh, I thought I could do that with the inventory, uh, it didn't work, so you have to put the the uh, hashtags in uh, yourself, but that's not too hard. So in this case we just take the 16 uh, letters, uh, first letters in our uh, inventory string variable, uh, which we fills up with items, and uh, then we can simply insert these hashtags and then we have the four lines sorry that was my phone then we have the four lines of text which is our inventory I haven't done anything for like scrolling and stuff but that's quite easy you just if you if your inventory is these uh, four uh, items wide then you can uh, let's open here then you can just add four to where you begin like the this one where you begin counting from uh, or subtract 4 depending on where you are in your inventory and then that will work so um, and then we simply draw the text and it will draw it uh, in a grid like that so quite easy um, not too much uh, weird stuff uh, you can make some easy customization you can he see here it's easy to add the things to the text and stuff like that uh, and it's easy to set up you don't have to do a loop where you move, uh, draw every I item it's uh, indiv individually because everything is done for you so uh, I think that's pretty nice I hadn't really thought about using this for inventories before doing this video it was a little uh, extra thought I had so I haven't tested it out a lot um, but I think that's one way to do it because uh, you could use lists instead um, but then you are also just a string variable is technically just a list itself containing characters so why not use the built-in functions the built-in functions um, things up 
normally faster. So uh, I think it's a quite fast and reliable inventory without any benchmarking done. I cannot tell, surely, but uh, I think you can do some great stuff. If you do some great stuff with it, uh, do send me a video showing it. Uh, I'm curious to what you can do with the uh, draw sprite uh, font inventories stuff. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. Um, I do post some stuff on uh, social networks now and then, um, showing what I do. I have a trailer board, um, I will link to it in the description, uh, where I write in what I'm currently doing and working on and my ideas for videos and stuff like that, if you're interested in you know, these things. Also, I just recently added a, a made a ask page. I will put a link to that in the description as well. Um, where you can ask questions to me because I do not have a lot of time uh, at the moment to do videos but you can still ask questions and I'll try to answer fast. Um, uh, of course ask questions that it's not like specifically your project like um, it's not like that I need to want to do it but if you have like a general question, question which uh, where the answer could probably help other people as well then do ask it and uh, I'll try to answer it in there, but uh, yeah, so um, bye!